Next question. Question 6. Three of the five positive integers P, Q, R, S, T are even and two of them are odd. Not necessarily in order. Consider the following. P plus Q plus R minus S minus T is definitely even. Uh, second statement is 2P plus Q plus 2R minus 2S plus T is definitely odd. Which of the above statement is or are correct? So we have, we, we are given that out of all the four uh, given integers, three of them are even. So I am writing even with E and two of them are odd. So we will be using the concepts uh, like E plus O equal to odd, E plus E equal to E, uh, O plus O equal to E, uh, E minus O equal to odd. Similarly, uh, we have all the combination, right? We will be using this combination to solve this. So we will take up the first statement, uh, P plus Q plus R minus S minus T. So we will split that into two scenarios. So we will write P plus Q plus R and S uh, minus T. Okay, before that we will just write S T and S minus T just for clarity. So for S and T we have various combination. We, uh, S and T can take uh, since we have three even and two odd, it could be either two even and even and odd. Odd even, uh, it doesn't, even and odd, odd even uh, will be the same case here in the given example. So it doesn't matter. So, or odd, odd. We'll be checking these three cases. In these three cases, um, since we, uh, this P plus Q plus R will be sum of what? Sum of two odd. Uh, already two even gone so one even left so two odd plus one even so two odd two odd numbers addition to addition of two odd numbers will give an even number plus an even number will give an even number is equal to an even number in this case it will be an even number so p plus q uh, plus r will be an even number minus even number minus even number so this will be an even number so total will be an even number output so I will write O output out will be an even. So in this case, it will be an even. So we will check this case. So one even and one odd is taken out. So this will be um, two even uh, and one odd. odd. So two even plus odd will give an odd result. An odd result and even minus odd E, e, e minus O will give an odd result. So odd result and an odd result. Subtraction of odd and odd will give an even. So here also we will get an even number as an output. And let's check the last case of odd odd. In odd odd we will have this as uh, 2 even plus sorry 3 even 3 even numbers. So Sum of three even numbers will be an even number and subtraction of odd and odd will give an even number. So E minus E will all also be an even number. So in all these cases, uh, P plus Q plus R minus S minus T, uh, this is the output P plus Q plus R minus S minus T. That is this, this minus this is this out. So even minus even, even, odd minus odd, even, even minus even, even. So in all these cases it is even. So statement 1 is true. So let's take statement 2. State In statement 2, if you see, there is 2p, 2r and 2s. So 2p plus 2r minus 2s will be even. So whatever, uh, no matter what uh, integer p, r and s are, See, 2p will be even, 2r will be even, 2s will be even. So even plus even minus even will be even. So this is an even number. Now, to that we are adding q and t. So the statement is 2p plus q plus 2r minus 2s plus t is definitely odd. So in we already have this as even. So in, in cases where q is odd and t is even, what will we have? 
even number plus even number plus odd number this will be an odd number so in cases where q or t uh, is e even and odd uh, we will get our total output as odd oh, sorry what we need was to check whether uh, uh, this is definitely odd so in that case we will take uh, q and t as even numbers q and t as even numbers or q and t as odd numbers in both the cases even plus even is even and odd plus odd is uh, again even so in both the cases the total sum this 2p plus 2r minus 2s plus q plus t will be uh, even so this is a false statement 2p plus q plus 2r minus 2s plus t is definitely odd is a false statement so solution to question 6 is uh, a 1 only